welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean. If you guys are new here, I am randomly taking this clip. It is September 28th and I just felt like the vlog that you guys are about to watch needed a little bit more context. Um, I know I have tons of random footage. It has been almost a month since filming a lot of this footage um, and I'm just gonna say it right now. I am going through a breakup. It's been really hard for me to um, be online during this like healing process and just trying to figure it out in general. It's a very um, difficult, weird situation. We all go through it, but this is definitely like the first real adult, like true relationship I've had and being online. Um, I feel like my last relationship I was able to like just kind of shut it out, but this one there's like explaining to do, obviously, like a little bit and I also just want to like share my real raw emotions and I just like vlog my regular life in general. This is a part of my regular life. It's the end of September and I am finally ready to share some of these first vlogs that I have filmed so I just wanted you guys to like see me in real time now. I am headed to LA tomorrow to visit my team. We're doing like an influencer trip with them and I am so so excited so shout out to Table Rock Manager. I cannot wait for that. I just wanted to intro this roller coaster of emotions vlog to you guys and just know that I am doing a lot better now. It is still not easy. It's still really hard. And obviously, when I actually post this video, um, that's going to be another like big hurdle to get over. Just like being really open with it and just sharing it online. As of right now, I've been very quiet about the news. Just close friends and family knowing and I'm sure it's pretty obvious if I can't like lie and say I'm like doing great all the time so I have been open on Instagram and stuff saying I've been struggling obviously I haven't posted on YouTube in a month so I'm sure a lot of you are smart enough to figure that out for yourselves but yeah let's get into this vlog this is gonna rewind like pretty much days post breakup and the first thing I wanted to do is pick up my camera and talk to you guys. And I have vlogged more this month than I ever have in a really, really long time, like years. Just naturally like wanting to vlog, wanting to talk, wanting to show you guys what I'm doing. So as of right now in this moment, I have eight videos in my Final Cut Pro to edit and get up for you guys. It was just a matter of figuring out when the right time to post was. And when you guys are watching it, I guess I felt like... It was time, you know, this is also my job. I don't want to be gone forever and I'm working on a lot of other different things right now outside of YouTube. So it's just kind of like I'm trying to juggle, trying to do the best I can, trying to make the best decisions I can for myself and yeah. So please, oh my god, Pickles is like off something right now. Please just keep that in mind. I'm a little bit sensitive right now and obviously with a breakup it's more than just one person involved so i would like to keep things as private as possible i know you guys like aren't gonna like be crazy about it or anything like luckily i feel like i have a good small niche audience and i'm really grateful for you guys who watch my videos so i am not going to get into like crazy details but i also want to share my own personal experience of just going through something that's real life and that we all go through so it's just still really fresh and it's just a, like a difficult situation no matter how you go about it it's not fun it's not easy and you don't always know what you're doing in the moment so I'm trying to figure it out and yeah I guess that's it I just wanted to intro this vlog say hello um, future me here obviously I'm doing just fine and um yeah i'm really looking forward to la and laguna beach tomorrow so stay tuned for a laguna beach vlog there's going to be such great content and definitely follow me on instagram to see stuff real time because you probably won't be seeing the laguna vlog honestly for like weeks out because i have so many other videos to get up before i try and push a lot of content out now that the news is broke and um, get back on a consistent, you know, weekly upload schedule where my videos are more like real time. Anyways, I love you guys. You know, I always have to do a little more explaining than maybe needed, but that's just how I am. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Welcome to a new vlog. This is the first vlog that I'm starting being single. 
so in this time right now i'm honestly trying to like stay off online i want to vlog for you guys and like film because i am doing things that i want to show you but technically this stuff will probably be going up a little bit later just to give myself some time to heal and i don't want to like talk about it over and over and over again um but i also want to be like honest with you it's literally it hasn't even been a week since things have happened and i am still in the transition period i might seem like i have a happy face on but I'm trying really hard to be strong like i could literally <laughs> cry right now if i wanted to um i'm going to cry anyway i am just looking forward to the future and i don't know i feel like a lot of exciting fun things are going to happen especially with my channel now that i have um you know just a new perspective and you know going through something very new i haven't really been single or on my own like as an adult so it feels really weird and i just think it's going to bring a lot of cool opportunities to me so it's a thursday I just got back i've been running errands like all morning i want to just get all my errands done for the day earlier in the day when like stores are less busy and traffic's less busy I decided to do that since i'm kind of like taking a little mini break from you know working and stuff and just trying to keep my peace and stay busy so i went to trader joe's i got a big like stock up on just regular things lots of healthy easy not all healthy just like easy things that i like to eat for myself so i want to fill up the fridge my fridge is literally completely empty i got ingredients like last weekend to make this chicken lemon soup and i actually made that last night kelly came over and i made her some soup so all i have in my fridge is the soup that i made but i have like nothing else i will show you guys i want to like clean up the fridge and then restock it with everything that i got and i also went to target and got a bunch of new cleaning supplies i feel like my cleaning supplies have been running really low over the past few days i've been like cleaning out old stuff getting rid of old things or like empty bottles and stuff so i wanted to get a full restock of cleaning supplies that i needed just like very you know essentials and of course i got some makeup goodies because i couldn't help myself and i'm actually like been really really into makeup excited about makeup lately i also went to somerset the mall the other day with nicole just to like do some retail therapy so i got some new things from sephora as well so all in all i just have a lot to show you guys i wanted to just vlog and say hello and um even though i'm trying to take like a break from work and being online i still want to be filming for you guys to just kind of get myself in the routine of things so let's go to the kitchen i literally just got back from parking my car and i haven't like unpacked everything that i got yet i've also like already rearranged switched up the furniture in the apartment for obvious reasons so there's lots of new feelings going on i think i'm really really good at putting on fake face no it's a good thing and a bad thing so i want to also show you guys the real side of things so you don't think it's just like rainbows and butterflies because it's really not but i'm trying to make it that way for myself Let's do a quick run through haul of everything. Also, you guys, I smell like absolute shit right now. I ran all these errands and I just like, I need to shower, I need to clean myself. Just so you guys you know, know that through the camera that I am not put together at all right now. Or Target. I got a big jug of white distilled vinegar. This is one of my favorite things to have in the household for cleaning for like so many different uses. I think vinegar, cleans the best without using a bunch of chemicals. I put it in my laundry, I put it in my cleaning supplies. Then I got these downy light like scent beads. I haven't got these scent beads in a while. I was trying to do more of a cleaner laundry routine, but I do really like to use these for like my bedding and blankets and stuff, especially when I have guests over. I think it's nice when those actually like smell really fresh and good. So I got these ones. This is the light version, which I thought was interesting. So it's not too heavy and it's the white lavender scent i've always really liked these i've used them for a long time like even the regular ones 
Um, but I just don't think it's very good for you, so I tried to stop using them, but. I then got the seventh generation disinfecting wipes. I like them in the tub like this just because they're super easy for quick cleanups. And seventh generation is definitely my favorite like cleaning brand. I try to buy most of their things, but not always. I really need a new like good bathroom cleaner for the shower and the tub like it's really gross in there and I need to do a nice deep clean so I got the seventh generation tub and tile cleaner we will see how this goes I usually get like the bleach Clorox one but again I'm trying to use cleaner products so we will see if this works as good as that and I got the glass cleaner. I've been out of my glass cleaner for a while, so I wanna clean all my mirrors and windows and stuff like that, seventh generation as well. This was interesting to me. They had like a bunch of these, so I thought, I've never seen it before. This is the Method, which is a Target brand, daily shower spray, and it's eucalyptus mint, which is like one of my favorite uh, scents. I think this is just like a daily quick spritz you can spray in the shower You don't have to like wipe anything and it just kind of freshens it up and keeps the space clean I feel like that is one of the hardest things is keeping your bathroom clean like cleaning a shower and a tub and toilets Like shout out to our mothers or whoever was doing that our whole lives because it's so much work even just like by myself um, I feel like it gets so dirty and gross so quickly without even realizing it. So it's good to have easy products to clean it with. Pick us. Gotta be on the counter. I got some refills of my Swifter dusters. I love these duster things and I feel like my apartment gets very dusty very quickly, especially with having cats. Their cat hairs everywhere. And I also got like a reusable one, so I guess I didn't need to get these, but I do have the handles already for these, so I thought these would be nice for disposable ones, but I'm going to see if I like this, you know, nicer one. I think you can just throw this part in the wash and reuse it, so I will let you guys know if I end up like which one i end up liking more i needed a refill of my dish pods these are the ones that i normally use and i got one of these scrubber brushes because i haven't had one in a while i've had like this stupid one for so long but it's kind of gross and dingy so i wanted to get just a new regular one that i can put soap in that is all the essentials from target of course i fell into the beauty section and Target literally has full Altas in them now, which is so dangerous and I think it's wrong. Honestly, like it's very convenient, but I think it's wrong because the price points really trick you and when I go into Target, I want like more affordable drugstore options, which they still have that, but they also have like a literal mini Sephora Alta in there too now, which is great, but I don't know, let me know your guys' thoughts if you guys like when stores like start combining things together or if you'd rather it just be separate. I honestly rather it be separate, especially when the prices are so different. So let me know what you guys think. First, I got a new wet brush. I've been needing just a new regular hairbrush for so long. And this is like a speed dry one. I like how it's all open and just black and simple. New Real Technique sponges, always restocking those. I got this really cool brush for baby hairs and edges. And I'm actually really excited to use this. It has like a tiny little comb here, brush comb here. And I think this is gonna be really nice to use for like slick back looks and stuff. I got some gum. I love having gum on hand. Oh, Nicole. When I was with Nicole, she was asking me what everyone was using on TikTok to do like the white on the inner corner that everyone was raving about. And this is such a throwback product. The jumbo sticks from NYX in the shade Milk. It's literally just like a white jumbo stick. So I got one for me, which I've been wanting one for so long. I haven't had one in years and I haven't actually used it for that purpose like since seeing it on TikTok. So I'm excited to try it out again. And I got one for Nicole because I know she was interested in it. So I just picked one up for her. I got a new dry shampoo from Christine S. Christine S is probably one of my favorite... <laughs> I'm sorry, the building manager was outside. I got some new dry shampoo because the one I've been using right now is like a brunette version. It's almost like has too much pigment in it because then once I want to like touch my hair, 
the brown gets all over my hands if I like sleep on my white pillows it gets all over my pillows so I really don't like that about it so I wanted just like a regular dry shampoo Christine S is one of my favorite drugstore brands for hair products so I think I've bought this before and I don't really remember if I loved it or not but I just wanted like a regular one I got the mighty patch for blemishes believe it or not I have never used like blemish stickers on my face ever like not from any single brand finally picked these up because I literally saw a TikTok last night how terrible it is to be picking at your skin and you should use these instead so you don't touch your pimples and I feel like I've been picking at my skin a lot so hopefully these will help I will let you guys know um, I then got this thickening spray from Christine S I really love the thickening spray from way but it's a little bit more expensive so I wanted to try this one out since I already know I like this brand then a few makeup products I got my Cody airspun powder I have not had this powder in so long and I saw it there and I just like couldn't not get it I've always gotten the translucent extra coverage they have shades as well but the translucent one is the one one you want no matter what skin tone you are like this is the best powder so I'm excited to play with that again and I got two new products that I've never used before when I was in the NYX section this brow glue just caught my eye and I don't know for some reason the word glue was like yes I want to try that out I really want to find like a good brow gel that's not the Anastasia one I've never been able to find one and this just looks like it's gonna really hold them down which is what i'm looking for for a new little lip color i just these look so like pretty when they had so many different colors all lined up it's the maybelline superstay ink crayon i got the shade run the world it's just a really pretty like deep rosy color and i think it's matte so i thought this would be pretty for going into the fall time and just a nice pretty lip color so i will play around with these maybe we'll play around in this vlog or i might film like a separate video playing with this stuff and the stuff i got from sephora so that is the target haul i'm gonna move all this stuff over to the table so i have room to work and then i will show you guys everything i got from trader joe's i also went to the pet store and picked up a ton of new cans of food for the cats so shout out to premier pet supply they're the absolute best pet store ever i think it's only michigan but there's a ton of them here if you guys live here and they're truly like no other pet store compares to them. Hey, mister. Hi guys, I'm interrupting this vlog, Future Me, to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Thank you for partnering with me on today's video. You guys know I work with them every month, a company I've been using for years. My mom literally bought HelloFresh when it first started coming out and cooked it for me in high school, and I always loved all the meals, so now it's really fun to do it as an adult and honestly just makes it really easy for me to have meals to cook in the fridge and not only are you getting meals out of it but for me it's kind of like a nice activity for me to have on those nights where I need to chill or relax I'll pour a glass of wine I'll make my hello fresh play a podcast and it's like a whole therapy session especially if you're someone who enjoys cooking or who wants to learn how to cook I think it's a great intro into learning a lot of different little tips and tricks along the way it makes it super easy with a six step instructions but you're still making like gourmet delicious meals they definitely don't skip out on all the little extras like sauces and toppings and really interesting new flavors so let's cook some hello fresh I'm gonna eat it for kind of like a late lunch today and I always have some leftovers to save for the upcoming days as well which is super convenient so let's get cooking Because. 
HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that ships weekly boxes of fresh ingredients along with recipes to make mealtime easier. HelloFresh's recipes are so delicious. They effortlessly save you time, money, and stress. They can also help you reach your goals, and best of all, it helps you eat more sustainably. Enjoy fall's freshest flavors. Every HelloFresh recipe includes ripe, just-picked produce that travels from the farm to your door in less than a week. HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant and even grocery shopping. HelloFresh offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. I like to do their original family style box with meat options, but again, this is something you can change at any point in time. You can easily customize your meals with Hello Custom by swapping out proteins or sides. It's never been easier to eat your way. And best of all, HelloFresh helps you eat more sustainably. It's hard to switch a lot of our bad habits, but HelloFresh makes it super easy to feel good about what you are eating. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable. HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. Plus, in partnership with Plastic Bank, HelloFresh prevents 10 million bottles from entering the ocean every year. HelloFresh is done. It looks so freaking good. I am so hungry. This is like the perfect warm, cozy meal right now for the cooler days we've been having in Michigan. So I want to taste it. Excuse the city noises. You guys know how it goes. Mm. So good. Mashed potatoes, carrots, chicken with like a mushroom gravy on top of everything. And I love cooked carrots. Mm. Does anybody else like to stand while they eat? If you guys want to get started with HelloFresh today, go to HelloFresh.com and use code EMILYJEAN65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's the highest discount I have ever had. Again, HelloFresh.com, use code EMILYJEAN65. Now for Trader Joe's, I need to put everything in the fridge. You guys look how empty it is. This is extremely empty for me. I have all my condiments on the side and stuff, but like she needs some work. I wanna like actually clean it out and clean it down before I put all my new stuff in. So I'm gonna do that for sure. But let me just show you what I got first. I normally like to lay out all my groceries on my island here and then I'm able to like organize it and put it into the fridge. So actually when I was there over the weekend, me and my dad went just to get a few things when I wanted to make that soup to keep me busy. I also got these two things. I've never tried this gnocchi. I'm so excited to try it. Um, and it doesn't even have to be refrigerated. So a pack of gnocchi and I love their basil tomato sauce this is the like looks exactly like this but this is the roasted garlic one so i'm gonna do a little gnocchi marinara sauce one night for easy comforting dinner now onto the stuff that i got this morning i got some bananas i haven't had bananas in so long probably let those go bad for some banana bread or something it's getting about that season for my baking and my soup season like i'm so so excited for those kind of foods i feel like i cook a lot more when it's cooler out and there's just so many like yummy comforting foods i can make when you know it's dark at literally four o'clock so i'm getting excited about that I got some lemons, always need lemons. I always stock up on my ginger shots. Trader Joe's makes the best health shots and they're the cheapest ones out there. I love the ginger ones because they're really strong and they're pretty much straight up ginger with some cayenne. So it's really, really spicy. And these just like give me a good kickstart or if I'm just like feeling down or anxious or something, I swear a ginger shot just like, it's something easy just to like snap me into it and that's good for you. So I constantly need those. 
I got the buffalo style chicken dip. This is, it's not like the best buffalo chicken dip, but it is really nice just to have in the fridge and ready to go. You can heat it up or eat it cold, or sometimes I make like wraps with it, which is definitely my favorite thing to do. So I'll probably do that. I got some Mexican style cheese and I also got some tortilla chips because I've been craving microwavable like nachos, just chips and cheese. Maybe some Frank's Red Hot, super simple, like late night yummy snack. I got some tomatoes to make BLTs. BLTs have been my all time like highest craving right now. Like I could eat a BLT every single day. They're so freaking good. Like honestly, probably one of my top favorite sandwiches for sure i picked these up randomly just to have something sweet i love these these are the dark chocolate covered power berries they're like the ones that you can get at costco but this is like the trader joe's version they're so delicious and good i like to put them in my freezer to keep them really cold and like crunchy i then got my favorite bread from trader joe's it's just the white sandwich bread gluten free which doesn't matter to me but i really like the size of this bread it's like nice small squares and it tastes really good so this is perfect for blts or avocado toast and they're kind of like smaller sandwiches in a way which is perfect for me i don't like when bread is too big I got some romaine hearts for BLTs and just have lettuce in general. If I make the buffalo chicken wraps, I'll shred up some of this lettuce and put it in the wraps. I got some fruit, which I feel like I haven't bought fruit in so long. So I got some strawberries and some organic raspberries. The raspberries looked really, really good. And I got these cutest, I have to show you. These are the weird little things that motivate me. I got these super cute little cherry bowls from the thrift store like a few months ago. And I should have bought cherries, but I didn't see any like really good ones. I don't think it's cherry season. Do you guys know what cherry season season is? Let me know. But I've been wanting to get some fresh fruit just so I can like fill up my cute little cherry bowls and have some fresh fruit laying out. So I'm like really excited to use these. These were literally like a dollar at the Goodwill and I don't know, they just make me happy. This is like depressing. This is like, if this doesn't call out that I'm single as f now, I don't know what does. I got a six pack of, I'm literally gonna cry about this. I got a six pack of eggs. When have I ever bought a half? Why am I like crying about this, you guys? It's so stupid. I have never bought a half container of eggs. I don't normally like to eat eggs that often. Like it's not something I crave in the morning, but I think it is a really good source of protein and like a healthy breakfast option or if I randomly need an egg for like a recipe or something. So I wanted to get some, but I didn't want to get a full carton because I know I wouldn't eat them all. I'm going to speed through this. Okay, I got some organic regular milk. I got some sour cream to have. My favorite onion and chive cream cheese. To go with that, I got the mini bagels. I love the mini ones because again, I don't want to eat too much bread. I like to have smaller serving sizes of things. I think it makes it a lot easier, especially if you guys live by yourself or you're just cooking for one person. I got this gorgeous olive oil. It says it said it's new and for a limited time, so I honestly just bought it for the packaging because I think it's gorgeous. I got my blueberry lavender almond milk. I haven't had this in so long for my matchas. I got some crumbled feta cheese. Feta cheese is my favorite in my eggs, so if I am going to eat eggs, I'm going to be putting feta in it, and that will make me crave them, so I'm excited to have that. I got some tortilla wraps for the buffalo chicken wraps. I got a big bag of their jasmine rice to refill my rice container. The bacon, this is my all-time favorite bacon besides the bacon that I can get at Eastern Market here. This is my favorite grocery store bought bacon. And I got a piece of salmon, which is exciting to buy one piece of salmon for myself. It's also sad, but kind of exciting. So I think I'm gonna make the Emily Mariko dish with this salmon. And last but not least, my favorite cheese. I love this Parmesan like mix. It's cheaper than the full Parmesan and I love like the big slices of this. So this is really, really yummy. And yeah, that is everything from Trader Joe's.
Hey, baby. Hi, guys. <laughs> I am doing this more for me than anyone else right now. I don't know if anyone will ever see this footage. Um, I hope I have the courage to post it one day or share it, I guess. And this is not to get sympathy. This is me in the moment just needing to do what I think will help. And a long time ago, talking to my camera was that for me. No one else I want to talk to right now besides the camera and you guys. So, anyway, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of figuring out I am going through right now. Today's Labor Day, 2022, September 5th, I think. Um, yesterday, Kyle and I broke up. And... We would have been together for four years this new year, so definitely the longest and most serious relationship I've ever had, and I've never loved someone any more than him, but I think I really lost myself in it. I'm obviously not gonna like go into detail about little things, nothing terrible happened, um, and we're still okay. It's a lot, and it's a lot more than just the relationship, at least for me, I'm talking from my own perspective, my own experience, my own feelings, and I have a lot to work through. And I think it's really hard to work through those things when you are dependent on someone else, and you're not actually able to put yourself first, even though it seems like you are when you're really not. It may seem sudden, but I feel like it, I could feel it coming for a long time. And this is just the start, I guess. So I'm alone. <laughs> I'm in my apartment, our old apartment. I didn't like, I just didn't know what else to do besides pull out my camera. I just sat in the park for a little while and ate a sandwich <laughs> and read my book. Um, but I'm back up here for the evening. I've tried to stay out of this space for the past, like, 48 hours just because it's been really hard. I'm also so... Oh my god. Guys! Pickles! I'm really, really grateful for this place and for my time here. And I'm, it's so beautiful here. I love it here so much. Like, honestly, I love being in the city. It gives me so much joy that's just, like, there for me all the time. It's, like, really simple joys of life living here for me. It feels really chaotic right now. It doesn't, the energy seems off. And it's affecting me, but I know I need to get better at allowing myself to feel all of these emotions and actually it just reminded me i want to read one of the pages of my daily stoic to you because it related to um like letting yourself feel all those hard feelings and i related to it so much so i'm going to read that to you what i wanted to say is for the evening i just want to like rearrange the space and just like play a podcast and get into my creative zone and just kind of move things around in here and kind of make it feel fresh and new and different. So I'm trying to balance letting myself feel how I feel but also like staying busy and doing things I love. I don't want to over distract myself but it's also really hard not to. So let me read that page of the book for you guys. Um, and by no means is this video or me crying on camera for sympathy or for anything besides helping myself because talking to my camera is a therapy for me and also maybe to make you guys feel a little bit better about what you're going through and that everyone goes through breakups and heartbreak and everyone goes through big life changes. Because we all are human, we all deal with things like this and sometimes most of the time I feel like we don't realize it in one another 
so I'm just sharing my thoughts maybe to help one of you guys or to connect with you guys a little bit more and one of the biggest things I feel like I lost myself is like this channel and my me and my camera the relationship I have with you guys I really really lost that in this past time I can't tell you what it was or why I think it was so many different things but this is the biggest hurdle I've had to overcome <laughs> like since and I think it's giving me a push to actually realize it like I didn't even I honestly didn't even realize how much I lost myself and how much I lost the connection I have with the camera until like literally yesterday. It's actually crazy to me that I like decided to walk into my apartment the first thing I walked into this empty space. Like I wanted to grab my camera and talk to you guys. I have not done that like ever in like the past years. Like genuinely picking up the camera because I want to talk to you and I have something to tell you in the moment how I'm feeling. <laughs> and something that's really raw and real. I think that's the most I've ever cried on my channel. <sighs> I'm a big crier in general, guys. I'm very emotional, so if you aren't a crier, you probably think I'm crazy. You think I'm, like, really effed up, but I'm okay. I promise you I'm okay, and I know I'm going to be okay. I know things will get better, so let me read that damn book for you. Let me go grab it. Sorry if it's loud, guys. I have all my windows open. It's about that time where the sun is coming in, so. Okay, this is the Daily Stoic. Um, this is a, basically a philosophy, old philosophy. I'm not really good at explaining this. Um, Stoicism is a super old historical philosophy and this book kind of modernizes it for us in an everyday read so there's a date on every page and it's just like a one page little script with a little section from the actual Stoicism itself and then kind of like a modern explanation of it so it's really easy and digestible to um, do every day. It's definitely really deep and some things are hard to read and understand, but the overall lessons you learn in each page is really important to me. I used to read this years back. I've probably talked about it on my channel before and I totally forgot about it and I bought it recently again when I saw it. Where did I see it? Oh, I saw it on my own Instagram stories. I was looking at like archive, or not archive stories, like memory stories, whatever, from years ago. And I posted a quote in this, and I used to rewrite things I read in this book to post and share and really resonate with me, that really resonated with me. So I saw that story and I was like, oh my God, where is my Daily Stoic? One, when did I stop reading it? And two, where did it even go? I'm assuming I lost it within the move from my old condo back to my mom's and moving to my dad's and all the different little moves I've done. So I'm assuming it got lost then, but I rebought it and I've probably been reading it for the past month every day or try to. If I miss a couple days, I catch up when I can. Um, and it's such an easy short section that it makes it easy, but when I was just in the park, I caught up on the past few days and it's crazy how much I understood and related to more of this. I could comprehend more of it when I'm in such a bad place. When I was reading this last week, I felt like I could barely even read it because I was so distracted in work and regular stressors of life that I wasn't like really in my feelings. And then reading it today, like, <sighs> It's crazy how much I could understand what they are saying. So I'm gonna read September 4th, uh, which is funny, it's my older brother's birthday. I sent him a picture of this page so he could read it too. Um, I think it's fun, especially to read your own birthday or special days in your life to read what's on that day. So the top little quote says, I judge you unfortunate because you've never lived through misfortune. You've passed through life without an opponent. No one can ever know what you are capable of, not even you. 
and then this is the modern explanation. Most people who have gone through difficult periods in their life come to later wear those experiences as badges of honor. Those were the days, they might say, even though now they live in much better circumstances, to be young and hungry again, another might say wistfully. It was the best thing that ever happened to me, or I wouldn't change a thing about it. As tough as those periods were, they were ultimately f formative experiences. They made those people who they are. There's another benefit of so-called misfortune. Having experienced and survived it, we walk away with a better understanding of our own capacity and inner strength. Passing a trial by fire is empowering because you know that the future you can survive is similar. Adversity. What does not kill me makes me stronger. Some name I can't pronounce said. So today, if things look like they might take a bad turn or your luck might change, why worry? This might be one of those formative experiences you'll be grateful for later. So that's just an example and one that I really related to um, as of right now. Hopefully when you guys see this or if you see this, I'm feeling better. That's one thing with the internet is it's really hard for people to truly be authentic because they think it's hard to share when you're actually living through those moments. It's easier to share after you've overcome them. Um, so that's usually how I work. I don't tell you too many things live. I will try to record when I can in raw moments to share later when I'm doing better. So hopefully that's the case with this. I feel a lot better. Just talking and getting that out there. Um, I don't even know if any of this clip made sense, but I love you guys so much and just know that if you guys are going through anything, like no matter how big or small, if it's hurting you really bad right now, that it's okay. And that things will get better. And that everyone is going through something or will go through something in their life that knocks them down to the floor. And you'll get back up. So, I love you guys. Thank you for all the love you show me and the support and watching my channel and not thinking I'm insane. Or if you do, that's okay too. But, yeah. I am going to rearrange this apartment now. Switch things up. Hey, baby.
Hi hey guys, it's a little while later now. You can see it is almost golden hour coming into my apartment. Um, and I have just been doing random cleaning stuff. I did all the dishes, which you saw. The kitchen is nice and clean. I cleaned out the fridge and put all my groceries away, organized the cat food, and put some of my new beauty items in the bathroom. I'm in the middle of like organizing and cleaning my whole makeup vanity space and many little areas of the apartment, like all of the storage closets and hallway closets and dressers and stuff that are like mostly storage. I'm kind of, you know, re-going through everything because I have a little bit more room and things are going to have a new home and also just like decluttering a lot. I feel like the past few days I've just been getting rid of a lot of old empty stuff and like really cleaning things out this time of year is like my favorite time to do that or anytime it's like transitioning from season to season i feel like i get very into my organizing and for obvious reasons i have a lot more space now so that means i can reorganize and create a better use of my space so definitely stay tuned for more like apartment videos i'm going to do more like full organizing vlogs like my makeup section it's all just kind of on standby until i can focus on each section because it will definitely take me some time but I've just been doing some overall cleaning and it feels really good and fresh and as peaceful as it can in here right now to be honest with you so um, I just started a load of laundry which was my last like load that was sitting by the door forever I want to get that folded tonight and I showered and stuff by the way I showered got clean I didn't wash my hair I just slicked it back but I did some skincare and just put on a comfy outfit for the evening. I think Simba might come downtown if you guys don't know him. He's one of my good friends and photographers I've been shooting with forever. And he got a new drone recently. So we might go fly his drone around. He wants to practice with it. And just good company so i might hang out with him it's kind of just like up in the air if he shows up downtown that's one of the best things with living in the city is whenever people are like down in the city it's just easy for me to you know go out and walk to meet them wherever or it's just like easier to have company over when you are in the city i feel like because people are coming down here to do stuff anyways i was about to start putting away some other laundry that i've done this is just like clothes I've worn for a little bit, things that need to be hung up. I want to make the bed. Plugging away at house things, but I wanted to show you guys the fridge now that it's all organized. And I'm going to show you guys what I got from Sephora. You guys, look how pretty it is in here at this time. Like this space and the overall vibe out here looks really good and so much better from when I started kind of switching things up a few days ago. So I'm really happy about that. But the things that need to be done next are like actually inside cabinets. This thing needs to be organized very well. And I will show you guys the cat room. This is the worst room. I sent a picture of it to Nicole because she's gonna help me organize stuff because she loves doing that. And she was like, oh my god that's insane so i've kind of just been pushing everything i don't want right now into this room and this is like my pantry so normally it's way more organized i hate all this clutter down here this is an iRobot litter box that just isn't working right now, so it's just taking up a ton of room. But yeah, we have snacks, we have the cat food, we have laundry stuff, cleaning stuff, pantry stuff. Um, I have like painting stuff and just it's not organized at all so this is a huge project pretty much all of the cabinets around are big projects but for now i've just been trying to make the open living space and like the bedroom and stuff feel really nice yeah this is what it looks like right now i have a lot more space for the living area which i think looks really pretty and this is nice and open i'm really wanting to get some runners i've been wanting runners for a long time but now having this like long open space i feel like it's really calling for it and yeah i kind of took away some of the colors i had around not took away but just moved things around to where the base is really pretty neutral and it's just making me feel clean and happy. I moved this long pillow out here and I never realized how perfect it fits in the windows. I would love to get a second one for that window. I think it just makes it look really clean and like a finished touch. And I love my shell being on top of these books here. I think it's a really pretty pop of color, but from far away, you don't really see it. My plant up here is thriving. 
It's about that time of day where it starts sparkling on the window. It's so pretty. I have this artwork over here that I just put on existing nails. And the mirror over here is nice because I have so much space to take pictures in and just like you can actually back up far away from it and see everything. Um, I need to get a new plant for this pot here because the one that was in there lasted honestly a really long time. She finally gave out but I want to get something really pretty for this so if you guys have any recommendations, I'm really terrible at plants, please let me know. I could literally talk forever about every little detail right now and it's definitely nowhere done, nowhere near done so I'm not going to talk about everything but I promise once things are really really set I will do an apartment tour. You guys have been asking me that forever and obviously I'm going to do one. You just have to be patient for once things are like perfect in my eyes. So yeah, this is my beautiful artwork though. I have to just talk about her a little bit. I'll tell you guys more about her later, but I picked her up from Easter Market Vintage. It's one of the best vintage stores in the Detroit area, honestly in like Metro Detroit, Michigan. And I just love her so much. She is sad and she's lonely and I got her actually a few weeks ago. I just saw myself like in this painting so much and i don't know i'm obsessed with her i think it's so gorgeous i love the frame so i think hanging it up on this wall is going to look really good but i want to do it properly so i'm just kind of <laughs> on it girl what are you doing what are you doing I'm just letting um, her sit on the ground until I can have someone properly hang it up for me. That is like out here. This looks really nice. I was able to move the bar um, stuff to the other side of this cabinet, which opens up the entryway hallway a lot more, which is really, really nice. And you guys, I have not finished this yet. I got more stuff. Tried to do the second layer because it's not on the ground. I could not do it by myself. So I'm going to need some second hands to help me finish covering this. And then I really, really want to get some bar stools. So that is still in the process. That's why I haven't showed it to you guys. And yeah, the dining room table's over here, which I think just makes sense. I moved it over to the windows for a while and it does look really pretty over there but it makes sense to be over the ceiling lights and I think it creates like a nice hallway here plus it's closer to the kitchen so I really like this layout I think is best. I'm obsessed with my fruit bowl is full of yellow bright fruits and lemons and limes it just is so gorgeous like this is artwork in itself and I love how like it's overflowing right now. Okay, let me show you, finally show you the freaking fridge. Dishes are already done. I'm just letting this like get all the heat out. And da 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 da. Here is the fridge. I always have such a problem storing these ginger shots because I don't have like the best updated fridge ever for storage reasons and it, they always fall out if I put them over here. So I had this little cute bowl that was like $5 from Target in the springtime and I just put it in the fridge with my ginger shots. I have my meats and my salmon over here, fresh produce my breads which i like to keep in the fridge they just last so much longer i don't have to worry about it and when i put stuff in my pantry i don't often see it as much so i like to see what i have for the stuff that i want to like eat first and then this is kind of like my dairy eggs all my cheeses salsa all that kind of random stuff here's the soup i made yesterday it's a lemon orzo chicken soup it's so delicious and then i have my brita milk like a bigger drinks down there this is stuff that's all been here it's not really organized but a ton of my condiments and drinks and creamers and these are homemade pickled veggies i did i did pickle onions and pickled beets i've been adding those to so many different things it's so nice just to have it in my fridge and they are delicious i will share the recipe with you guys if you want to know and then at the very bottom i have all of my like kind of different sauces and sauces i don't use all the time like not as commonly used so that's the fridge these drawers are just full of like canned drinks and beer that i don't drink all that often and the freezer is not organized share i'm not going to sh show you that yeah it's pretty freaking clean in here i'm happy about it need to unload the dishwasher and then finish up my laundry for the day um and i think i'm just gonna chill out 
I am one of those people, like even if I'm not working, like as far as my job working, if I'm doing stuff around the house or just like during the day, I cannot sit down. Like I will not sit down and take a break or like chill midday. I will go until I cannot go anymore, which is pretty much like when the sun goes down. Probably a really bad habit of mine. And especially now, like yeah, I'm being productive, but I don't let myself just chill. And especially right now, I feel like I'm just trying to distract myself and keep myself really busy. And even before the breakup, I did that because we're always struggling with something internally. And I feel like whenever I'm always have my mind on something else or cleaning or doing laundry or just like doing literally anything, um, keeping up myself like moving and busy helps my mind not think about the bad things. But that's not good because sometimes you need to just sit with your emotions and your thoughts and you shouldn't always be distracted from how you're really feeling. So I should probably chill. I've been trying to spend time with friends and stuff, which is actually really good and been really healthy for me, which allows me to like relax a little bit. I am completely rambling to you guys. So please just stay with me through this like weird time in my life right now. And if it sounds like I'm venting and rambling to you a lot, it's because I am. I think that's it. I've been drinking my water here. Um, I should make dinner. Maybe I'll just heat up some soup for dinner. Yeah, I'm kind of just waiting around. It's like 6 o'clock and Simba said he might come down around 7. So I'm just gonna finish up my last few things around here and that's pretty much it. How are you guys doing? Please let me know in the comments. I hope you guys are doing well and if any of you are going through a big life change or transition right now i am here with you and just know that it's okay and it's also okay to feel like it's really not okay sometimes because that was me just a few hours ago um it's definitely a roller coaster of emotions and it's weird when you are feeling good then you feel the guilt for feeling good um and then you can feel really sad and really lost and then you're okay again so just know that everything that you're feeling is validated and normal and that's part of being human um no matter what it is that you're going through so i'm sending my love to you guys all over and i want to say a big thank you for watching my videos and sticking around i know my channel hasn't always been the most consistent or most like on top of it if you will um i tried to just be i'm just really like a normal person a normal girl to be honest and um there have been many moments more recently in my youtube internet career um that have caused a lot more anxiety for me and it's just kind of like weird looking back and realizing i've been posting my life on the internet since i was 16 like that's just it's a little scary when I take a step back and really see it, um, but I also am really proud and I am just really grateful and really lucky to have you guys watch my videos and click on them and support me and send me kind messages. Okay, y'all, my camera ran out of room because I am talking way too much. Pickas, you wanna say hi? Oh my god, you do wanna say hi. You wanna say hi or you want dinner? Which one is it? Baby boy. Baby boy. Yeah, my camera is telling me to shut up because my memory card is getting full. So I will see you guys when I see you. I don't know if I'm going to continue this vlog. I feel like it's already been pretty long with me rambling. But yeah, I just want to say that I love you guys. Because. To pick It's the pick To pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. It's the pick it, pick it, pick it. I forgot, I'm not done talking because I wanted to show you guys what I got from Sephora. Like, let me give you some real content and not me just blabbering about my feelings. So Nicole and I went to the mall and I really wanted to go to Sephora. I have not gone to Sephora and done like true makeup shopping or even just like looking in so long. And it's so nice 
to shop for makeup in person. The first thing that I actually did need was the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. You can see I already used half of it because I washed all of my brushes and I washed all of my sponges. So yeah, I used that much product for all of these brushes, especially like the big fluffy ones. They just soak up so much of it. And if you've never used this, it's literally like a magical worker. Oops. You technically, you should probably still do like a really deep clean on your brushes with soap and water, which in that case I use dish soap. Um, but I'm lazy and this is so much easier. It gets all the color out. It truly does a really good deep clean considering it's a quick dry formula. Dip your brush in this, swirl it around on paper towel, and then it's already dry and like fully clean. I got my birthday gift which I haven't been in since my birthday. So I picked up the Tatcha Little Beauty Insider pack. It has the face wash, the dewy skin cream, and the liquid silk canvas primer. So I've never bought these products myself. So a little bougie samples. This was such a random product. I saw the little display for this and immediately just picked it up. Like didn't have to think twice about it. Um, I love a lot of Sephora's products and their prices are so good. This is the Sephora Vitamin C and E Serum Ultra Glow Serum Glow and Strengthen. So it's just a face serum with vitamin C really good for brightening and I'm really low on skincare so I want to try this out. I feel like I've seen people use it a lot. I'd love to find a good vitamin C that is pretty inexpensive expensive because serums and stuff can just get so pricey okay guys i finally got the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand i have not tried these at all none of them i got the blush because that is all they had so i got the pink one yeah pink gasm and i am dying to use this i haven't opened any of this stuff besides the brush cleaner of course because i want to actually film and like use all this stuff on camera maybe we'll just do like a testing new products video and i can use some of these as well as the stuff i got from target earlier very very excited about this i know i'm really late to the party it's i really hope it's as good as everyone says so i will let you know the tea and show you on camera i'm really excited about this I didn't ever realize this was from the brand Lawless. This is an eyeshadow palette I've seen a lot online. And whenever I saw just like the palette open online, I was like, that is the perfect small everyday neutral palette. Like I need that. And it was always sold out forever and ever. And I remember it being just a random brand, but I do have the Lawless um, lip like balm, like lip plumper balm now. So I'm familiar with the brand and I realized, oh, they're both Lawless. Anyway, this is the little one eyeshadow palette and this is truly just the most simple thing But believe it or not, I feel like these simple small palettes are harder to come by than like a big crazy palette or even like a fun different palette I feel like every brand always tries to be so different and truly this is all I need and this is all I want I hope the formula is good and the actual product is good but boom like this is the perfect palette. You have like a slightly shimmery bone shade here, a nice super warm toned like creamy color, two shimmers, one more champagne, one more bronzy. These four over here are all matte. So like two shades of brown, another warm color and black. Let me show you guys up close how perfect this is. And it's the size that I love because that's the one thing I always struggle with packing for travel or even just like going to a friend's house or something. I never know what to pack that will just fit in my makeup bag and be easy. So I'm really, really excited about this. I will let you guys know. We will use it on camera in a video. Like I said, I'm not going to try any of this until I have, um, until I'm filming for you guys. Hi, Pecos. Did you want to see what I got? Okay, then the last thing I got, really basic, just from Sephora. I just like saw this randomly at the end and grabbed it on a whim, but it's just a clear lip gloss. And I don't know why, but the super narrow tube like is satisfying to me. That's why I liked it. So I picked this up and I don't have any just plain clear glosses. So I thought I would try this. Yeah, that's all that I got from Sephora. And stay tuned for when we test those products out as well as these Target ones. I'm like getting allergic now because pickles has been all up over me. Yeah, we have a face powder, we have lip products, an eyeshadow palette, a cream blush, the NYX jumbo sticks, 
a brow product. I feel like we have a pretty good group of new things to do like almost a full face. So be on the lookout for testing new products. All of my makeup is on the ground. This drawer is empty. That's like a disaster. So I need to fully reorganize this maybe tomorrow over the weekend. Stay tuned for makeup testing video and a makeup vanity organization video. Those will both. Now I'm finally gonna shut up and finish doing laundry, unloading the dishwasher and those boring things like that. Hear the church bells. It's officially six o'clock. And I think I'm gonna go take some Zyrtec. Thank you.